Well, preparations are underway in the Western Cape ahead of primary schools going back to a daily attendance. You'll remember the Basic Education Minister last week gazetted the return of all primary school pupils from the 26th of July. This directive also applies to schools for children with special needs who are in grades R to 12. Monique Mortlock reports. When the 26th of July rolls around, it won't be a smooth return to normal for all primary schools. Western Cape Education MEC Debbie Schaefer says they're expecting some hiccups, especially at schools in vulnerable communities. Schaefer says it's up to schools to plan accordingly. The intention is to try and make whatever plan possible to get them back to school and we'll, we'll assist wherever necessary. Um, but we're wanting schools to really look at every possible measure to see what they can do to, to, to ensure that they do come back. Teaching and learning will be allowed to be conducted outside the confines of a classroom as long as COVID-19 safety protocols are adhered to. This means schools with overcrowded classrooms may have to utilize community halls or find other venues. The Federation of Governing Bodies of South African Schools says it's still up to government to provide schools with support. The department, here national and provincial, think I can buy more do to really show that they can be for the people who on the ground with the children's work, of course for the children and for the ouders. It is not too late to say, come to us give your aandag to the welfare of our people. The South African Democratic Teachers Union agrees that adequate psychosocial support for teachers is still lacking, as well as proper PPE and ablutions at some schools. We will keep them as long as we can, because if you remember, Chair, this year's grade 12s uh, really had experienced lots of difficulties last year, because most of them would have gone back to school around July. So they would have missed exactly half the year including that they had to go into sessions, so which gives them that they had lost almost 60 percent, 60 to 70 percent of the year. SATU is conducting a survey to determine the state of readiness of its members in schools so it can discuss concerns with the National Department in the coming weeks. Monique Mortlock, Cape Town.